Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sniper Mike here, and welcome to my third episode of my Minecraft Blender tutorials. And in this episode, I'll be showing you of how to set up a render. So, um, a render is a basic scene which is used for rendering, like exporting images and stuff. So, just get started off with Shift A, add mesh plane. And then I'll just scale that up to 100. So that adds a basic background so your character is not floating. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do is add some lighting because we currently, if we rendered this out, it would be everything would be dark and you wouldn't be able to see anything. So if we go Shift A and then under Lamp, add a hemisphere. So what the hemisphere does, it adds ambient lighting around the whole world. And if we come over to the object data panel and change the energy to 0.5, that will enable us to have two hemispheres that add up to one unit of light, which won't be too bright. Now, what I'm going to do is just make a duplicate of this and rotate on the X plane 180 degrees. So. Let's make it the wor whole world is ambient, there'll be no black spots at all. Now the next thing I would like to do is add a sun. So if we go Shift A, add lamp sun. Now you'll notice it has a lot more points, we'll come back to that a bit later. Now I'll just move it out here somewhere and then I'll just rotate it like this. So that sort of that little line there is showing the positioning of which way the light is traveling so this will enable us enable us to create shadows so now if we come down here sky and atmosphere I like to turn that on it gives a nice sky as you can see there and you can play around with the presets and yeah it's pretty cool now what I'm going to do is enable ray shadows, so this will enable shadows. So um, I'll quickly do a render, which we have to add at camera. So if we go numpad 1, front ortho, shift A, add at camera. Now if you press numpad 0, you notice it like sort of jumps to this view. So that's our camera. So I'm just going to press G, then the scroll wheel in, and move it backwards. And you notice that it's moving the camera backwards and forwards so I just move it and grab it until and rotate it until the character is in scene well okay now if we press F12 to render you notice it um, renders out like this so you might notice it might look a bit dull like the lighting is very basic so I'm going to come to the world tab and change the paper sky color. I don't know. Enable paper sky and blend sky. Change the horizon color to a nice, nice blue. And the zenith color. I don't know why they're that color. To a nice light blue like that. And then we we'll come down here and under ambient occlusion, just click that and leave it on add with a one factor. So. Now you notice the sky looks a bit better now and the lighting looks a lot better now as well because it's like not basic, it's like shaded more. Okay, so, well, I accidentally just stopped the recording. So, what we're gonna. Yo, yo. What we're gonna do is um, another thing is just go back out F11 to go back to the so now what we're going to do is press F11 and this will enable us to go back into the like ob the like so we can view the world and edit stuff I'm just going to select the light and you can muck around if you want softer shadows like if you notice the shadow here is really jagged so I'm going to just put this to four samples soft size of 4. Now if you render that don't really notice much difference so I'll just put it up 8 and 8 and 
and it's starting to get a bit softer, so 16, 16. It's a lot better now, so if, if you like softer shadows, see that? Now it's like really good, except look at that render time, so much longer. So I usually just keep that at 1, honestly. Nice quick render time, and it looks still fun. So, um, that's basically it for episode 3. There's not much really more to learn except for the camera, like, focal length and that, but that's pretty easy. It's just, um, focal length of the camera, so you'd be able to create perspective images. See that? That's a nice perspective image right there. I'll just put the focal length a lot lower and I'll just put this back to I don't even know what it was originally so I'll just put it to 16 16 seems good so yeah um, before we go quickly another thing you might notice is the world it just cuts off like that so if we just come in here into the world tab add some mist so if we just render it now it looks a bit close and the character looks a bit blue so if we just put this maybe to 10 that looks a lot better I usually put it back to 25 or so so or 20 just play around with it what it however it works well with you maybe 15 yep or oh, even 10 back to 10 I guess yep 10 looks good so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. The next tutorial I'll be showing is creating blocks. Oh yeah, this is my Minecraft forum post thing. So the next tutorial I'll be showing you how to make blocks. So you'll be able to you know, replace this ground here with uh, blocks, like a scene. And then a future tutorial, um, episode 6 by the looks of it. I'll be showing you how to imp input whole worlds, well not whole worlds, you can select a part of the world, yeah. So, be sure to leave a like, it only takes a second, it shows that I am helping you, and if you subscribe, it will show when I upload next tutorials, so thanks for watching, and see you next time.